one of the top issues on this presidential trip, how America and our allies should handle that conflict. We head to the region now where U.S. troops are sending a message to President Assad by conducting military exercises in Jordan, in striking distance of Assad's forces. ABC's Martha Raddatz was with the troops today. We journeyed hundreds of miles across the deserts of Jordan today with one of America's generals. Along with the Jordanians, he is leading a fearsome display of power. Fighter jets pummeling the earth, mortars, and rockets launching from attack helicopters. Tanks streaking across the sands. An exercise that the Assad regime may see as all too real. These are the forces that could be sent into Syria to secure chemical weapons, help enforce a no-fly zone, or train the rebels. Jordan is America's key ally in the region and is worried that the war in Syria will spill over its borders. The royal family asking the U.S. to leave its fighter jets and a Patriot missile battery behind when the exercise ends. This will at least provide, I think, some comfort for the people here that, that there is at least something here that, that might be able to protect us. There's no telling how long the F-16s and the Patriot missile battery will remain here in Jordan, but given the deteriorating situation in Syria, it could be a long time. George? Okay, Martha, thanks.